Dan the Dentist here. Today I want to talk to you about your tooth sensitive after you just had a filling done. I gotta say, there's a lot of content out there about people being sensitive with their teeth. I love reading Reddit. On there, there's a subreddit called Dentistry and people go and ask questions and dentists like myself and a few dozen other dentists frequently will answer those questions. And one question I see all the time is about how their teeth are sensitive after they just had a filling done. It can be frustrating. You didn't have pain before, the dentist just worked on your tooth, and now you have this cold sensitivity, maybe sweets, maybe hot, and now you gotta deal with this. Now what do you do? You might be thinking to yourself, gosh, maybe that dentist did something wrong. They're incompetent, they don't know what they're doing, and that's why I have this problem. Let me set the record straight about why that tooth is sensitive and what you can do. So the way a tooth is put together, there's an enamel on the outside of the tooth. That's like that hard outer shell, the white part that we all see when people smile. There's a deeper layer, and that, that layer is called dentin. That dentin layer is porous, meaning nerves actually travel through these little microscopic holes in the teeth. And whenever you have something touch it, uh, it gets really sensitive. When we do a filling on a tooth, we have to drill through that enamel layer to get to the dentin layer because most likely you had a cavity and that cavity broke through the enamel into that dentin layer. Dentin is a very soft material compared to enamel, so bacteria tend to just really grow fast. So we need to take care of it in a timely manner. If you let that fester too long, then that cavity will get big enough that you could end up needing more than just a filling. You might need something called a root canal or even worse yet, you might lose the tooth altogether. So while we're drilling on a tooth, we're getting through the enamel, getting to that dentin layer to remove the bacteria that have already gotten into that layer. That's the same layer that has dentin inside of it. So you would expect that that nerve layer is being disrupted, so there might be a little bit of sensitivity with that afterwards. There's a misconception that it's the drilling itself that causes the sensitivity. If your dentist is competent, they're using a lot of water through the procedure to keep the area cool because sometimes overheating can cause that. So it's really important for you to understand why the techniques of doing these fillings are so important because there's a lot of steps to this protocol and if one of them is messed up, it could end up resulting in you having sensitivity. So after we've drilled that hole into the tooth and cleaned out all the bacteria and any soft tooth structure that's remaining, we need to bond in a filling material. Now there's all sorts of different types of filling materials and I'm not gonna go into that today, but I do wanna talk about the probably the most commonly placed filling and that's a tooth colored filling as we know in dentistry as composite or resin. The first step is actually called conditioning the tooth. And for that, we actually use an acid, which I know seems a little counterintuitive because cavities form with acid, but there's no bacteria involved with this. That acid will actually create these rough surfaces on the tooth to allow the bonding agent to really get into certain areas, like kind of like Velcro, if you ever deal with Velcro, it just these little protuberances that you can actually mesh into these microscopic uh, rods that actually help attach the filling to the tooth. Now we put that conditioning agent on the tooth for only 20 seconds. You don't really want much less than that. And you definitely don't want more than that because the acid can disrupt the nerve endings inside of that deeper layer of tooth structure and then end up causing that sensitivity. So after that conditioning agent is cleaned off the tooth, it needs to be completely removed. Lots of water gets totally removed, but then it has to be followed up by being effectively dried because you don't want to dry out the little nerve endings inside of there too. So the tooth is dry, we apply a bonding agent. This stuff is a little more viscous than water and we use a brush, a special brush to actually apply that in the tooth and ideally you would just rub it around. Most manufacturers have us do that for 30 seconds. After it's gotten everywhere, you want to blow that dry again. You want to remove as much of the what we call solvent that's inside of the bonding agent, which if left there, will actually cause sensitivity to happen. So I usually blow it dry for like five seconds. You gotta make sure there's no water coming out of the, uh, the, the actual instrument that blows air because usually our instruments will blow air and water. And sometimes you have to bleed the line with air to make sure no water is gonna accidentally get blown down inside of that cavity preparation. So after that bonding agent is properly placed, we need to cure it. And we do that with a UV light. So you, you might hear some beeping noises coming out of this light. Actually, I have one right here. You know, you press a button, you'll hear some beeping noises and you'll, you'll see this UV light coming out of it. And it will beep periodically to let us know how long 
we've been curing for because you don't want this to be on the tooth for too long. These curing lights also get hot, so if you're curing it for longer than probably 20 seconds, it's too long. Some curing lights require more time, some require less time, some create more heat, some create less heat. So we need to be careful not to overheat that tooth. That will lead to problems of sensitivity too. After the bonding agent's been cured, then we can finally put the filling material in there. And the filling material, again, comes in a variety of different viscosities. Sometimes it could be more liquid, sometimes it could be more solid, and sometimes you can mix those together too um, to use like half the filling, the liquid type, and maybe the other half with a more viscous type, depending on the situation. But it's also going to be using a curing light to, to cure as well. So it goes in as a liquid, and then once you hit a light on it, it, it turns into a solid. So this composite resin material is, uh, it shrinks actually when you cure it, maybe between one and 5%, depending on the manufacturer. So we want to make sure that if you're going to put a filling in a tooth, especially a larger filling, if you just inject that whole big filling with material and then cure it, it's going to shrink a little bit. And that bonding agent is going to attach to that filling pretty well. And it's actually going to pull the tooth inwards with the filling. And it can actually end up causing cracks inside of the tooth. And that can lead to sensitivity. So the proper method to do fillings are to put them in increments, meaning you put a little bit in it first, and then you cure it. Then you put another layer in, cure it, another layer, cure it, and so on. You know, until you have so many layers so that the, the volume of filling material fitting inside of there is actually greater than if you just injected the entire hole up with one big bulk of filling material. After that filling is cured, we want to make sure that everything's nice and smooth around the surface. You want to make sure that we check the bite so that when your teeth are biting together that you're not making too heavy of contact in those fillings because if you are, that will lead to sensitivity, probably cold sensitivity, maybe some pressure sensitivity. So if you have a filling where you have sensitivity, you might notice if you go back to that dentist, the first thing they're gonna do is they're gonna check your bite. They're gonna take this ink blot paper, they're gonna put it in your mouth, ask you to bite down a few times, and then they're gonna check it and see kind of where your teeth are hitting. And if you're hitting that filling a little too heavily compared to the other teeth, that's probably why that tooth is sensitive. Another thing that can cause sensitivity is to make sure that that junction of where the, the tooth and the filling meet each other, those should be flush. And there shouldn't be any openings between the filling and the tooth. When that shrinking happens, that could cause some openings to happen. And those openings, things can actually kind of weasel their way between the filling and the tooth and weasel their way down into the tooth and that can cause sensitivity. Another thing is isolation. What I mean by that is while we're putting a filling inside of a tooth, it's very sensitive to moisture, which is why we keep things dry at different points in time. And I usually ask my patients to try to stay open for like the five minute window that I'm putting the filling in there so it doesn't become contaminated with moisture. So what do you do? Now that you have to deal with a sensitive tooth like this, I would go see your dentist, tell them about it, uh, set up an appointment, they're gonna check a few things to make sure the integrity of the filling is holding up, make sure it's cured completely, make sure there's no openings between the filling and the tooth, make sure that the bite looks okay, and make adjustments accordingly. Now if they've made all those adjustments and you still have a problem, it could mean that you need to have something redone. So in the rare circumstances that I've had to deal with this, I complimentary, replace that filling, have them come back a few days later, see if that sensitivity has gone away. If that filling doesn't work, then I would recommend something called a fluoride varnish. That's a material that we brush on your teeth. Usually I do it on all the teeth because it strengthens all your teeth in general, but it can decrease sensitivity. And I like to apply that and I get people on the sensitivity toothpaste for about a month or so. Now, if that hasn't done it, then my next step would be to change the material. That, that bonding layer, that composite material, for whatever reason, is just not compatible with your mouth. So we need to look into a different material type. I don't do very many metallic fillings, but when I have a very sensitive tooth that I just can't get under control, remove that old, that old composite filling, make sure everything, again, is really fresh underneath of the tooth, we put a metal filling in there, 
that has to set up over the course of the day and then I follow up with my patients to make sure that that pain has gone away or sensitivity has gone away. If that different material doesn't work, then you're a little bit out of luck here. It doesn't happen often, it's rare. When you have a deep cavity, this tends to be more likely. It means that your nerve inside your tooth is just not compatible with this fake material. And what we're talking about is a root canal. That's where we go in, remove the nerve of that tooth, and if there's no nerve that can send pain signals to your brain, then no sensitivity is going to exist anymore. That's an aggressive treatment. I don't I avoid that at all costs, but sometimes there's no other way around it. Now, the absolute worst case scenario, the tooth has got to come out. No procedures working. The fillings didn't take. The root canal didn't take. Um, it could be that there was a crack in the tooth, and maybe there was one from the beginning, and maybe that was causing sensitivity in the first place, and it was exacerbated by the procedure of having a filling done. At that point, the tooth has to come out. The body has no way of repairing itself with cracks. So once you have it, you have it forever. They can't get smaller. They can only get bigger over time. There are some things that we can do to treat that, but when they get deep enough, there's nothing more we can do. I hope that answers some questions that you have about teeth being sensitive after your filling. Like my video if you liked it. Leave a comment below. Let me know how those fillings are doing after they've been treated. I'm your online dentist. Thanks for watching.